All right, guys, we're coming to the end of the week. We're ending strong, and I hope you had a great week. I'm Lena. Good to be with you again. I'm going to spend a minute thinking about our Power Minute, our devotional for today. Today's Power Minute is called Plan for Thriving. Our verse is 1 Peter 3, 15. But in your hearts, honor Christ the Lord as holy, always being prepared to make a defense to anyone who asks you for a reason for the hope that is in you. Yet do it with gentleness and respect. I took care of an asthmatic a while back and reviewed the obvious plan with the family. See, every asthmatic has both a maintenance plan and a rescue plan for their treatment. Both are necessary for thriving. Both are important. Both serve a different function. The same principle is true in our Christian walk. In order to thrive, we need a maintenance regimen when it comes to our relationship with God and with others. Our maintenance disciplines include the daily habits that we do simply in order to stay healthy, like reading our Bibles and praying and gathering together with other believers regularly. But we've also got to establish a specific rescue plan. The rescue plan includes steps we turn to when we've hit a sudden trial or feel the weight of despair that crushes us. These are actions that we take on the spot to avert crisis. For me, that includes a text to a friend to pray for me right then and there, or a Bible teaching podcast or radio show that I tune into just because I really need it. Or it may be my favorite scripture memory verse that I remind myself of, or these power minutes that keep me on task. We need both a maintenance plan and a rescue plan to stay healthy. Have you established a strategy for victorious living in Christ? Think about this question. Where do you turn to when you've hit a sudden crisis? What scripture encourages your heart to stay strong no matter what? Maybe you have like no idea what your strategy is. You're like floating through life, just hoping that you'll make it to heaven. Listen, you can try that and God will guard you and and keep you until the day of salvation, (laughs) until you see him. But there is a better way. There's an intentional way to follow Christ in obedience. Uh, Paul said in the scripture to work out your own salvation. Part of that is coming up with a plan for your victory. And that means remembering God's promises when you need them and getting in those habits that will sustain you when you desperately need it. So uh, maybe that's what you want to journal about today. Hey, these are my maintenance plans and this is my rescue plan when I need it. When you're hit with temptations and you're alone at night and you're not sure what to do about it, that might be the time when you need to have a plan to 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 do something that will change the path you're on. And so, listen, we're living in this culture where if we don't think about these things, things will just happen to us. We know that, and we want to live above it. We want to create margin to focus on the Lord and to live in a space that allows us to be victorious. Part of that is prayer, and so know that I'm praying for you today. Enjoy the weekend. See you again Monday. We'll have some other things here for you. You know, remember, you can get a ton of resources on our website and on the app. Go to livingwithpower.org. I've got a great retreat house. We've been talking about it because it's awesome. You can bring a group. The prices are amazing. Or you can come and be with us. We've got a great retreat in January for the Living With Power people, woman retreat. And then we've got some other silent retreats there. Just a lot for you guys to enjoy. I hope you're taking advantage of it. And thank you for being part of this community. Have a great weekend.